Welcome to Remote Japan News. This is the place to get stories straight out of Japan that you might not see in your country. Let's get into a story. Today's Remote Japan News story is somewhat connected with the Statue of Implied Meeting story. The connection here is the Japanese imperial rule of Korea during the World War II era. South Korea is yet again seeking further reparations from Japan. This time, a South Korean court has allowed seizure of Nippon Steel's assets in its joint venture with South Korean steel manufacturer POSCO, which will allow them to liquidate the Japanese company's assets. Nippon Steel released a statement as they are seeking an appeal to this decision. It said, Our understanding is that the wartime labor issue was settled completely and finally through the 1965 Agreement on the Settlement of Property and Claims and on Economic Cooperation, which was the legitimate agreement between nations." End quote. The company also said, We continue to respond in an appropriate manner considering diplomatic negotiations by both governments. Japan's Chief Cabinet Secretary, Mr. Suga, told media sources, We will respond resolutely with all options in sight. However, he did not mention any specific measures. What is your opinion on this ruling? Is it justified or just a spiteful money grab? Leave a comment below. This is the end of Remote Japan News. Thanks for joining. As always, if you like the video, click the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. See you next time.